I'm looking so toasty today. So toasty. I'm looking so toasty. Hey. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am currently filming and two things. It's cloudy and I am sick. So if you can tell in my voice, I am a little bit sick. So right now I am filming a beauty review. Now I hardly ever do beauty reviews, but I'm thinking of starting to do beauty reviews, but it's going to be a collective beauty review. So it's going to be a couple of things that I'll be reviewing that I have used a couple of times and what I think of them. So in this video are products that you're going to see that I have used and what I think of them and yada yada yada. So if you would like to see this video, then please do keep watching. So this is not going to come as a surprise to anyone. This is the Tartlet Toasted uh, Eyeshadow Palette. That's essentially what it looks like. This palette is nothing short of amazing. It's got all the colors that I love, warm colors. It's got your oranges. It smells amazing, first and foremost. The pigmentation of this, just, mwah, it smells amazing. It's got really nice, warm, sunsetty kind of colors. So it's got five matte colors and seven shimmer colors total of 12 colors it is absolutely amazing it's such a beautiful palette the pigmentation beautiful the packaging absolutely phenomenal like Tarte literally has it down when it comes to packaging i absolutely love 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 this uh, eyeshadow palette and i use it quite a bit in my eyeshadow looks not today because i've got actually a little bit a little bit of it is tart toasted palette and some color pop an awesome palette well worth the price beautiful palette does the absolute most i absolutely love this palette so if you want to spoil yourself sometime and get yourself a really expensive eyeshadow palette mm, i know it's it's around the how much is this around the 800 rand mark yes it's a really, really, or oh, 900 Rand. It's a really, really good palette. Wow. <clears throat> Trying to talk. Very, very difficult. Um, I don't know if you'd like me to swatch, but the pigmentation on this thing. Wow. Look. Look, it's. Look, it's. Beautiful. And some eyeshadow quads that I've been using as well and trying out and really, really, actually really liking are these two from Yardley London. Now, this is the one that I used in my drugstore makeup look. This is the Foxtail Lily and it is so beautiful. I really, really love this one because the colors are great. You can make a full eyeshadow look with just this eyeshadow uh, palette. It's got four really great colors, one matte which you can use in the crease at the in the V and the other shimmer colors which you can use on the center, eyelid and it's just really really pretty. I think these are great if you want to accentuate them, use concealer. Concealer really brings out the color of these. Blendability, a little bit like the Tarte one, it blends in so seamlessly. This one you might need to put in a little bit more effort when you're blending, but it's nothing that is too impossible to deal with. I really, really like it. And then this is the other one that I like. It looks a little bit like that. It is so beautiful. This is Dynasty or Dynasty, however way you want to say it. I haven't used it yet, but the colors are absolutely awesome. I especially love this color over here. Yeah, these are really, really great eyeshadow quads, and you can find them at Clicks. You can find them at Discam, I think, as well as Yardley really really great eyeshadow palettes and then a very contentious issue between me and my sister is this this is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless normal to oily skin foundation my color is 350 <clears throat> 350 for me is a reasonable match that's what it looks like for me it's really not that bad i like it i wouldn't say the coverage is full coverage i think it's medium to full you'd have to build it up um, I like how it sits on my skin. It really doesn't uh, feel some type of way. In terms of it lasting, um, I see um, sometimes a lot of um, oil build up on my nose and T-zone area. So it's nothing that a little bit of powder can't fix. But honestly, for the price of this, I really think it's a great foundation. If you are looking for a foundation that is reasonably priced, 
but does the job it's a great foundation the only thing is it does not have enough colors so overseas i know that they don't even have it in the tube they've got it in like a glass bottle that has enough colors so here i don't really think i wouldn't say that it has enough colors but overseas kind of kind of works it kind of kind of works so uh but for me it's really a good foundation it's not a great phenomenal foundation but it's a good foundation that does the trick um yeah no complaints and then something from maybelline which i absolutely love is this combo okay so let me explain to you why i love this combination alone this mascara i felt like okay there was a point where i really liked it until the push up falsies one came out i love that one that one standalone does the best jobs in terms of volume lengthening and giving that spidery feel which is what i love for my eyelashes this one sort of flaked in comparison to that one but then recently i saw on Lorena's channel that they had a base de mascara which is like a primer it's white if you take it out like this the mascara tip and the wand is white as you can see so essentially what would happen is you'd have to apply first a coat of this onto your eyelashes you look it looks white it looks kind of scary but then afterwards you apply this and together they work phenomenally alone i wouldn't really think it's uh, something to write home about because there are better mascaras actually from maybelline but together they are phenomenal it literally lengthens the eyelashes as well as just gives them that really spidery feel which i really love and the volume just pops with the uh, primer as well so i really really like these two but together it's alone eh, but together bomb combination absolutely love them and you can get these at clicks and just as well i think this is around the hundred and 60 50 mark and then this one i really don't remember the price but i'll link everything down below but together they are a fabulous combination and they're both from the lash sensational range so really good two last products for me um this is the estee Lauder double wear stay in place flawless wear concealer for me right now this is the best under eye concealer to date that i've used in fact this one is almost finished it might not look like it is and my shade is a uh, 4N, I think medium deep, something like that. Really, really, really good concealer. <clears throat> of course, it's got the doe foot applicator and I just like under there and then I blend it in. So easy to blend, doesn't crease and crack and what have you throughout the day. Seamless, so, so nice. For me, it's the best liquid like concealer that i own uh it's not as heavy as the la girl ones it's very very light but you can build it up as well and make it you know if you wanna if you wanna go for that cakey look then you can do that with this as well but i really wouldn't suggest that this is really for the days where you just wanna lighten up that area you wanna look more alive and things like that really really good love this and then the star of the show is this baby that i bought on black friday this is the max max this is the mac studio <laughs> this is the mac <laughs> this is the mac quick trick stick and this is in a latte sheen and soft side so what i use um more of is uh the highlighter side so it's got two sides as you can see as you can see it's got two sides there's the blush side Ah, there's the highlight side which is this right here and then there's the blush side which is where do i put this blush this right here so the thing is for me i use mostly the highlight side and i cannot tell you how much i love this i have used it every day since discovering how cream highlighters are the bomb i've always wondered how do i get my skin to just glow right there's pictures which i will link up or i'll put up somewhere here that i've taken and this is it i think cream for me anyway cream highlighters are so bomb like i've got it on today you would swear that i just i don't i don't know can you see that and i literally put it here 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 on my nose and on my chin and it gives this really nice not a harsh highlighted line but a really nice 
soft, elegant, but it makes your skin looks like it's just popping. Like from the from the outside, you literally look like you're glowing. You literally look like you're glowing. And I think, I mean, I mean, th this, this, this did this. Can you see that? Oh my God, I absolutely love it. But this is the star of the show for me. Unfortunately, I don't know if they're still around, but maybe they'll bring them back. You know, they always, they always get rid of the good stuff, but this is really, really good. And if you're looking for something that will give a really nice, elegant highlight, I think definitely do try out cream highlighters above powder ones because nothing, nothing out of all the highlighters that I've used has given the same effect as this cream highlighter. It's absolutely awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go now. I hope you enjoyed this beauty review, collective beauty review. If you would like to see more of these, then definitely let me know. I will definitely do that for you. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna go and rest some because I am not feeling well. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now.